What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. And in this one, the question you guys all have been asking, have you ever let crypto off leash? Can crypto be set free off leash? We're about to find out. This might be the most tiring video I will ever make. I'm already dead. This is the spot where I usually let them off. I have let them off leash before. It's not a really big deal. Come on, you're gonna be free. <laughs> he does love to run. Every time I let him off leash, he just runs. There's absolutely no stopping him. Just like me, when they tell me I got a child support bill, there's nothing that can stop me. <laughs> Crypto does perfectly fine off leash. He waits for me. All you need is your dog to wait. If your dog waits, then you're set. I'm gonna be going over some tips for all the people that are looking to start off leash training with your dog. Hopefully Crypto stays nearby so I could film him. I have taken this dog to a couple of different locations where I've set him off leash and he does absolutely fine. Just remember that these dogs have really high prey drive. So if they were to see a squirrel, they will chase it to its full potential. Calm down, I don't want you to freaking die. I did ask you guys on Snapchat to ask me questions. We will be answering those questions at the end of this video. So let's start with off leash training your dog. Before I get into the video, I am not responsible. If you do off leash train your dog and your dog gets harmed, don't blame me for this. Off leash train your dog at your own risk. I would always personally recommend off leash training in safe environments. The best place to off leash train your dog will always be on a one way trail. Now this trail does have multiple routes, but as long as your dog takes directions well, you should be able to start your training. I don't know if you guys could see that right there. That's a cave. Pretty sure I can't take Crypto there because as you guys can see, you guys got to do some hardcore climbing. And I'm not sure if Crypto is capable of rock climbing. The most important thing when you're off leash training your dog, you want your dog to pay attention to you. If your dog doesn't pay attention to you, there's absolutely no way in hell he's going to wait for you. It's fine if they go up ahead as long as they turn back and check where you are. How do I know if my dog pays attention to me? A really good way to improve that is training your dog. Teach your dog tricks. He'll feel more attached to you. Check out my how to train your dog video if you guys haven't already. Like everything, it's best to start off leash training your dog when they're a puppy. When they're puppies, they are way slower and they're way less independent. You need to be the pack leader or else your dog will be leading you. Teach your dog commands. You need a whistle for your dog. For example, his name is Crypto. It has two vowels. I think that's called vowels. Something like that. Crypto. So, Crypto's whistle is... <whistles> Good boy. So it's two tones. <laughs> if you don't know how to whistle, you need to find a different way to call your dog. It's really important you don't overuse your whistle. Only use the whistle when you want to grab your dog. Just like when you're training your dog tricks, you don't want to repeat the command. You only want to say the command when he actually performs the trick so he can synchronize those two things. So make sure you only do your dog whistle when you want to gain control of your dog. If your dog's running away, do the whistle. Hope you guys are enjoying the view. It's a freaking hot day out, but I did it for you guys. When you're off leash walking with your dog, remain calm. You don't want your dog to sense that you're nervous. Why off leash train your dog? Off leash training your dog is really beneficial. The bond between you and your dog can grow extremely if they know that you have enough trust in them to let them off leash. Off leash training your dog is by far the best way to exercise your dog. It's a great form of exercise, just like my ex. Off leash training grants them complete freedom. Okay, I found shade, I'm gonna take a break. I saw a dog coming, you want some water? Good boy. Ah, you fucking moisted my backpack. Keep yourself and your dog hydrated. With everything great, there comes problems. Here are some problems that might come with off leash training. There will be other dogs. There will be other animals. There are actually mountain lions out here. Beware of animals. Make sure if something happens, you have slight control of your dog. No one wants their dog to get injured. That being said, when your dog's off leash, you have absolutely no control over them. So just keep that in mind. That doesn't mean you're not responsible for your dog. You have complete responsibility over them. If they were to hurt someone or something, you are responsible for that. 
and you should take responsibility after their actions. I remember the last time I brought him, he actually dove off the cliff like a savage. Oh, would you guys look at that hill? If that hill isn't diabetes on a mountain, I don't know what is. Oh, geez. Make sure you try and keep visual sight of your dog throughout the whole walk. And if you lose sight of them, that's when the whistle comes in clutch. A really good exercise to practice the whistle. When you lose sight of your dog, try and hide from your dog and use the whistle. If they don't see you, they have a way greater chance of trying to find you. Good boy, Crypto. I love mountains. It's just like at the lake. This is a different type of mountain though. Some trainings you can practice for off-leash training. Most importantly, the retrieve whistle or call, either one you prefer. If you are using the call, it should be different from their name. Come here is a really good command, which every dog should know. Yo, yo, I'm seeing shit. Crypto is like glowing fluorescent right now. Hopefully I don't pass out. You want to make sure your dog enjoys the walks. If your dog doesn't enjoy walking with you, he probably won't wait for you. Make all the walks you take your dog on enjoyable. Oh, just like this view. I only come hiking when I bring a female friend with me. And like the gentleman I am, I allow them to go first. Let's take a break. Good boy. <laughs> you enjoying the walk? You enjoying the walk? By the looks of it, Crypto enjoys all the walks I take him on. Yo, let's see if you guys could see what I see. What I see is I see Crypto glowing just an outline of his body a slight brown color. Let's see if this happens. How does that look? Are you guys tripping balls or is it just the heat hitting me? Pretty sure it's the heat, huh, Crypto? You don't give a shit, do you? Let's go. I had someone in the comments say, dogs don't have an alpha. That's probably the dumbest thing I've heard. I replied, do wolves have an alpha? The answer to that is yes. If us humans have a freaking leader, what makes you think dogs, which are pack animals, wouldn't have a leader. Yes, dogs do have an alpha. You are supposed to be your dog's alpha. You're supposed to have complete control of your dog. Your dog is supposed to come to you if he senses trouble. Ladies love a good dominant guy. And if you are a lady, be your dog's alpha. Oh, there's another big ass mountain. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Oh, geez. I was planning on putting Musher's paw wax on him. The sand is really hot, but I did it. If you are planning to off leash train your dog, Make sure you guys bring water. Make sure you guys bring treats just to encourage them to come to you if your dog isn't trained to come. Water most importantly because your dog will be exercising a lot. A dog can run a really long distance way more than we can. Try not to off leash your dog if it's extremely hot. Okay, I need to go faster up this damn hill. Oh jeez, This is tiring, huh Crypto? Here's the plan guys. I pretty much went over all the things with off-leash training. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. You can actually see the ocean. Oh, you can actually see it right now. Where I'll answer your questions. Oh. Okay, you need to settle down. Let's answer your questions. Are you ever going to show your face in a video? 200,000 subs. How much does crypto shed? As far as molting, I've actually never seen a molt. I do try to brush them. When did you get the rat? There was a huge misunderstanding with the rat's age. I have said that he's four years old. Apparently he's not four years old. Apparently he's seven years old. So the rat is pretty freaking old. I got the rat seven years ago. Will you do a meetup but in Switzerland? Oh, baby girl, yes ma'am. Why did you get your motorcycle? I always watched moto vlogs. Motorcycles are an extremely nice hobby and I wanted to learn how to wheelie. If crypto has babies, and if we wanna have one, but we live in another state, how much would it be? Pricing on crypto's babies, I'm still indecisive about that. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, make sure you guys follow me. It's KZE underscore production. I did put the snap code on my Instagram, so make sure you guys follow my Instagram also. I do post pictures on both of them. What's the funniest thing that ever happened to you? The funniest thing that's happened to me during a video would have to be when I honked the horn and I scared the shit out of that guy. That was really freaking funny. I had to edit a lot of laughing. Can the rat do tricks? Nope. Has the rat ever bitten anyone? No. Is Crypto older than the rat? And is the rat nice to other people? Crypto is my youngest dog. Two years and five months, I believe. I have no idea what AG is actually, but he's younger. How old are you? I'm 20. Are you an optimistic or a negative person? I try to be positive all the time. What are your hobbies? My top hobbies, YouTube, 
motorcycles, and that's about it. Why don't you get a faster bike? If you do, what would it be? There's really no point of owning a 600 or a leader bike. There is absolutely no reason to own a leader bike unless you're planning to race track it. But if I was to get a faster bike, I would go for the 2015 ZXXR. I rode one of those while I was at work and those things are freaking insane. You could go 60 in first gear in about three seconds. There's absolutely no need to go that fast. I would rather be having fun going slow than going fast. Going fast is really dangerous. And if I was to have a super fast bike, I will probably get a lot of speeding tickets. It's time we get going. Life isn't easy, guys. In order to have a steady decline, you guys have to get to the top of where you're at, which is the most difficult part. Everything in life does not come easy. Work your ass off until you achieve what you want to do. I'm running out of dog food. Every time I run out of dog food, the thought of just raw feeding him always comes to my mind. I really want to feed him raw food. I want you guys to go down to the comments. Let me know if you guys have ever let your dogs off leash and let me know how that went. If you guys remember when I owned the homie Mauser for one day, I did let him off leash and a bike came up behind us and scared the living shit out of him and he ran for his life. Oh, there he is. That was a thousand dollars running out right in front of my face. That was probably the scariest experience I've had with off-leash training. Let me know if you guys have had any off-leash experiences, if they're good or bad. I've always personally had good experiences with crypto off-leash. Yeah, my feet are burning. As you guys can see, he can't see me. I'm gonna hide. <laughs> What's up, dog? That's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, guys. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Share this so your friends and family can see, and subscribe for more. Peace.